What's up everybody, my name is JR, aka The Sinister Chimera, and welcome to another YouTube video. Now today is the day, it's the day that we basically get to cover everything that we did over the past year with the ZL1. So if you didn't know, we bought this car brand new. Last year, it was about August 2020 when we submitted the order for this car. We got it brand new, and we got it in January of this year. We did a lot of planning, a lot of uh, designing and everything to go in this car, and it, it came out even better than I imagined. So. Today we're going to basically cover everything that we did, why we did it, and uh, then we'll get to the fun stuff where we get to actually do the go fast part because I know all you guys are excited and ready for that part. There's a lot to cover in this. I know a lot of the stuff that is not going to be everybody's taste. It's fine. Don't worry. If you want to do something cool, get your own money, do your own build. But this is the way I planned mine and it's turned out even more amazing than I thought. So hope you guys enjoy. Sit back, relax, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from this beast car shows or RSS that's in the garage, even some truck stuff. So we got all kinds of stuff to cover for you guys. We'll go ahead and get started with the interior. We'll move to the outside and then we'll take it from there. So hope you guys enjoy. Have a wonderful day. Let's get to it. I just want to thank our wonderful sponsors, Manscaped for sponsoring this channel and this video. If you did not know, Manscaped's been around for our channel for a long, long time. They're giving you a 20% off plus free international shipping just for watching our videos. Feel free to pass it along to all your friends, family, and all that stuff. 20% off plus free international shipping just by going and clicking on the link that's gonna be in the top of the description and the top of the comment below. And it's gonna be on your screen right here. It's basically, you just go to manscaped.com slash sinister and all you have to do is just go to that link You'll go to the website, you'll see a nice gold bar at the top that says that you've redeemed the Sensor Camaro's promo code. And anything that you buy on their website is pretty much 20% off, plus for international shipping, of course. They just come out with this amazing body wash that just came out. I'm just waiting to get mine in the mail any day now. Apparently they have some really cool rejuvenating like body wash for guys to make sure that we get clean and healthy for our, our lovely other halves that we have with us. So. Don't forget, they also have cool packages like the performance package that includes this wonderful lawnmower 4.0. Avoid nicks and cuts, uh, make it travel friendly, nice LED upgraded design. I've been using this like crazy and I highly recommend you check them out too. Another one that I like is of course the manicure kit that comes with everything you need to clip your fingernails, cuticles, all that good stuff. I just basically use it for clipping my nails. That's the big thing that I like to do. They got cologne, boxers, sh shirts, I mean, Pretty much anything you can ever want to need. 20% off plus free shipping just by visiting them. So just be sure to thank them for sponsoring our channel by buying some great products for yourself, your significant other, family members, uncles, nephews, I mean, whatever it might be. These are great products. I wouldn't support them if they weren't. So that's why I put them on my channel. So thank you guys over at Manscaped for sponsoring this video. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the interior. Now we didn't really do much in the interior because we already had the ambient lighting and stuff. We had the door sill that lights up and all that. We had the bright white uh, footwell lights that were in there. Um, any kind of red carbon fiber you see in there, you'll see in another video. We didn't do that with this build until after the fact, but what we did do is I'll show you some nighttime pictures of it, but we did the starlight headliner because we don't have a sunroof. We don't have convertible top. We don't have anything like that. So I figured this would be a good cause it's nice and black. So it's easy to see. You'll see in the middle up here that has the, uh, the red skull. That is the theme for our channel. So it's RGB, different colors, different modes, different stuff like that. But it's so much fun to see this at night and it gives my little girl uh, something to enjoy because she actually sleeps with stars in her bedroom. So while she's in the back seat, and yes, we actually do carry the little one in the back seat from every t once in a while, have a fun time doing it. But yeah, this gives her something to look at and something to enjoy. So I really enjoy the fact that uh, DreamWorks put this in for me and I let them do whatever they wanted to. So they did the skull and the uh, headliner for me. So that way I'll always remember the, uh, the Sinister Camaro YouTube channel, no matter what. So that's basically the only thing that we did when it came to, when it comes to the interior, nothing else to expect. So now we got the outside. Now, the first thing I'm gonna tell you, the wrap's custom. The wrap is a horror slash villain theme to it. It's a lot of horror movie characters. It's a lot of villain characters in it. Some kind of iffy gray area kind of thing, depending on what you watch. But we basically worked with DreamWorks on this to install it and we worked with Glarb Design. You need to check him out. He does great, wonderful things with wraps. 
and designing them, I highly suggest you reach out to him for your wrap design. He's always busy, but I'm telling you, his quality products are one in a million. So definitely check him out. We wanted to keep the red and black theme because that is the theme of the YouTube channel. I don't really like cars being the same style. This one kind of turned out that way because of the whole um, red and black theme for the channel. So that's why we kept it with that. So uh, a little unfortunate, but it came out really good. I really love it. I'll, I enjoy everything about it. Um, you'll notice right off the bat, the flow tie is now black. Z01 is black. Z01 emblem here is black. And if we come around to the back, the bow tie is also black. Z01 emblem back here is black. We even painted the stock exhaust tips because I didn't know how long it would be until I wanted to get an upgrade exhaust on this thing, but we painted those black too. So no chrome on the outside of this car. I'm not a big fan of chrome. I don't like it, so I took it off. Um, and so we got rid of that and had fun with it. Uh, I like the black a whole lot better. And of course this car is getting ceramic coated. So everything should look very nice and pristine for a long time to come. So we did the windshield banner like we have on our truck up here and the SS that's inside, we had the same banner. We have the skull on top as well. Uh, as far as the wraps concerned, I, I mean, there's a lot of like comic book-esque uh, blood splatter kind of stuff just thrown into the background of it but you'll see some of your favorite characters from your favorite horror movies um, Glarb that's his logo so if you ever see it that's uh, who designed it but we got nice and Jason the Exorcist Hannibal Predator got a little saw guy going on here with the tricycle here's Johnny now I made him, promised me he'd put Darth Maul in there. I wanted a Darth Maul theme, but I know a whole bunch of my friends who already did, done the Darth Maul theme and they really, um, really went out of their way to do it. So I didn't want to step on their toes with that. So I just incorporated him into the major design. A um, Couple more characters, the get out guys in there. Uh, we got Pinhead, we got It, we got Alien. We got all sorts of characters in here. Um, Beetlejuice. We got. We even did like old school like monsters, like old school like Frankenstein, sea monster, saw pig, saw lady, guy from Mad Max, the the bad guy from Mad Max. Of course, you had to have Chucky on there, Jeepers Creepers. Everybody asks me who this person is. This is. Rob Zombie movies, if you've ever seen any of the Rob Zombie movies, he always puts his wife as a character in there. That's basically his wife dressed up um, for that movie. Nun, Freddy, the vampire. We got Leprechaun down there. Rest in peace to Captain Spaulding. Great guy of Rob Zombie movies as well. Scream, Leatherface. So we, we incorporated a lot of the characters that we could in this to make it a little different than uh, what everybody else would expect. And that's pretty much the wrap. Now we will get to the nighttime version of this. Um, as of course you'll see, this is also our logo, but there's something special about this. So wait till later in the video for that. Windows, all the windows were tinted. They have all a legal tint on there. I didn't go 5% or anything like that, which I wish I could have, but we did about uh, like 35 to 40% on the sides and back. We did a very light ceramic tent on the front just to protect it from sun rays so my dash doesn't crack over the years. So it's nice protection more than anything. Um, anything that you see exposed like the carbon fiber inserts here, I made sure to do it to the headlights this time because my last one got beat up. And then of course the legendary carbon fiber wing on the back. All that has clear PPF paint protection film is what it stands for. So it's basically wrapped as well. It's just clear, so you can't notice it, but it's got an extra layer of protection um, to protect the uh, carbon fiber from turning yellow or getting hit by rocks and all that stuff. Uh, I made sure to get on my headlights because my SS headlights look terrible. I need to redo those, but I just, I'm having so much fun throwing money at this right now. Uh, tow hook was already there before we sent it in. So you'll notice that the headlights look a little bit different. I tried to go for the same style that it had before. 
but we add a little custom touch to it. So you'll see in some videos and pictures here in a second, this eyebrow right here that was just white looked really good and really clean, but we had the little custom in it. So we added a, uh, a LED strip in there. Uh, we also added a diffuser with an LED strip around the headlight here, do multicolors, dance around and all that stuff. Uh, we got a demon eye in here so we can actually change the colors behind this headlight. You won't see it when the headlight's on, but you will see it more during the day while the headlight's not on. But yeah, it doesn't interfere or anything like that. So if you look real close inside there, we etched it on the uh, headlight projector right there, the uh, skull for our channel as well. So, I mean, it's decked out with the skull everywhere just to make sure you know that this is my car, the Sinister Camaro car. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's gonna have something everywhere. All that was RGB, change colors, change phone on your app or change colors on your app and everything like that. You will see in the pictures and videos that we did four strips. We did two on the top and two on the bottom of the brace bar behind here. I love the big open grill in this car, so I really want to light it up at night. So anything that the headlights do will also be portrayed here. And not only that, the turn signals basically separate it. So right down the middle, all the lights that are on this side will be a turn signal. All the lights on here will be a turn signal. So basically the way it's split is that, let's say I needed to turn uh, right. So the passenger side is gonna be on this side right here. Everything from the middle over is gonna turn amber, it's gonna flash, it's gonna indicate that we're turning. This side over here will stay a solid color. And then once we get done turning or turn the turn signal off, this will go back to the color it was before and it'll all match up. So I like that about it. Um, you can actually customize it a lot as far as like what mode you want to do, how fast you want to do it and that kind of stuff. I still got to tinker around and play around with the stuff, but I thought it'd be a cool to kind of uh, show you guys how to use the uh, ghost controller for lighting trends and all that because uh, it really is a fun app to use. And I highly recommend that if you have the money for it, go ahead and get lighting trends, whatever they do. I mean, they've lasted so long on my SS and I live by them. They're not sponsors, but great product. And I love what they do. And also forgot to show you guys, if you look at the bottom here above the exhaust tips, they were red before, red reflectors. We changed them to the gray uh, to match, to kind of blend in instead of poking out like they were before. And last but not least, here is the wheel setup. So we changed the wheels because we wanted the track spec to stay. So these tires are very sticky. They're track tires. They came on the car when we bought them. I recommend anybody that buys this car Go ahead and change those out. Um, don't worry about selling them if you go, want to go to the track and stuff like that. But if you don't plan on going to the track, sell those right off the bat. Get you some street tires because those things can't handle in the rain and they're just so sticky that they throw so much stuff up against the side of the car. One of the biggest things that I get people telling me all the time when I have this car, I haven't even put 5,000 miles on this car yet. And people are looking at these tires and going, man, you just got this car? the tires are already bald. And this would be even on the front. The backs would look exactly the same. But because this is a track tire, you have a lot more um, tread to worry about instead of the depth and all the rivets and stuff that you have for like when it rains and stuff like that. So I would not recommend driving this in the rain or snow. Only for track, it's only for summer. People have done it. People say that they can do it, but don't risk it. This is a very expensive car to have to deal with all that stuff. I'll see if I can find a picture or video as well, but the front tires actually stick out about an inch or half an inch from the fender. So it actually will stick out um, coming out of this vent here. So it's an even more of a reason for it to throw stuff up at the back, but it would stay behind that canard so it protect a little bit. But these front tires are very aggressive. They're very sticky and they last probably 10,000 miles if you're lucky. So definitely change those out. But I love the style, the matte black is easy to get, take care of and everything like that. So I'm keeping these as my track set. So I won't have to worry about any track stuff. I can just go to the tire store, get it put on and then swap them here whenever I need them. But these were the MRRs, these were the stock ones. If you can see here, let's see if I can get on video. They are 305s, 30Z R19s, so they are 19s but the 305s were very thick. So what we did was we swapped it for some 285, 30 ZR20s. We put some 20 inch MRR wheels on here. These are also by the same company, but they're more of a Corvette spec. These are like the Corvette ZR1 wheels. I don't really like rep replica wheels or anything like that, but these are gonna be my beat up street tires. So I'm not too worried about 
what they're going to look like or anything like that but these are going to be going on for shows and my right around town stuff so these are basically just going to be kept clean and that's about it uh, we went with the continental extreme contacts i know a lot of people say that the michelin pilot cup for pilot cup sport fours are the way to go i didn't want another sticky track tire for a daily car uh, so i went ahead and did the extreme contact they're actually a lot softer they're quieter they don't throw up rocks like the uh like the uh, stock wheels did i am very happy about these the only thing the only gripe i have with it is that traction they don't have very much traction even with the stock power i'm still slipping and stuff when i get into it uh, on these uh roads and all that so i highly recommend that if you want it to go and have a little bit more fun on the street uh, i might go with the michelin pilot cups for, uh, fours which i might actually uh, end up getting after i run these out uh, to see how what the comparison is but for right now it's a great daily tire I i'm enjoying it the only thing else that i would change on this would be these valve stem caps are like plastic. I'm gonna change those to a spike. I'm not gonna do spikes on the um, lug nuts like I did on the other car, I don't think. Just one little black spike here to kind of just be a little subtle, uh, sinister theme to it. But all in all, that's what we're gonna look like. All right, so for those of you wondering, here's the back tire. Again, we've got the 32530ZR19s on here with the uh, Goodyear's. Very sticky, good tire. But when it comes to the Continentals, we did a 335-25ZR20. So we did upgrade to the 20s on the front and back as well. We went from 19 to a 20. Easier to find tires, which means they're cheaper. So uh, that'd be a great, um, they've been great tires so far, as far as just riding around town, just having a little fun. Not as aggressive as it was before. We had to do a little bit of a smaller offset uh, just because, again, this is a Corvette type spec wheel. I think a little quarter inch spacer, I think we put in it. I think, I can't remember. One thing you will notice if you look on these cars, if you see the brake rotor at the back, you notice how it's black here. It was a nasty, like light gray. The SS had it both in the front and the back. This car, thankfully, only had it in the back. So I had DreamWorks actually paint that black to uh, match so that way it blends in better and it doesn't look nasty and gross with that light gray back there and all that black offset so i think it came out a lot better than it was in the stock and of course these are the same they look a little dull but these are the same uh, brake rotors paint and everything that they came with all right, so here it is. This is my favorite part of the entire build just because nobody really has, has really done it because it's new. It's not something that you'll see at a car show, but it's something that'll give the extra added touch to make it custom for car shows, riding around town, that kind of stuff. So people will know that it's the Sinister Camaro. It's our brand. It's to go with that Sinister uh, SS back there. So we're all a family, but this is an actual light panel. People have been like telling me all a lot in videos saying that it's a reflective vinyl. It's not. It's glow in the dark. That'd be cool, but it's not. But this is an actual panel that I can turn on and off. Now, the way we designed it, the way we did it, you won't be able to see it on during the day. It has to be in the late evening or pitch black dark at night. And it really glows at that point. So if you come up close, you can actually see the emboss from the wiring and all that and then you can see like the outer edges of the skull but that's like when you're right on top of it but yeah the light panel actually goes in the door to so a switch that can turn on and off the way this panel works is all of this area right here that you see like a dark brown on the camera is actually skin tone so we took some headlight film some darkening headlight film put it over top of it to mask it to make it kind of blend in with the wrap more but when it's on, it's like a nice like seafoam green or glow in the dark green. So when it comes on, it, you'll, all you see lit up is that skull. So it's an actual panel. It's not glow in the dark. It's not reflective. Everybody does reflective. Glow in the dark would have been pretty cool, but I don't think the, gla the lasting effects would have been that great for it because you have to shine a light at it for a long period of time 
let it off and then it carries for maybe like five, 10 minutes and it goes away. So with this panel, we can actually leave it on, stays on, the doors can be open. I mean, just the way they did it was so awesome. And it's been turning so many heads. I got so many questions about it. So many people enjoy it and love it, seeing it. Uh, we had it at parades, people love it. Some are scared of it because <laughs> of course, why wouldn't you be? But yeah, that's my favorite part of it. I hope you enjoy the videos and the pictures that I put into this video to show you what it looks like. Since it's daytime now, I figured that'd be a whole lot easier to do. That's basically what we did. Um, it doesn't seem like much on camera here, but there's a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of design that went into this car. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. That, that's the whole design. That's everything we did to it. It's, it's taken a lot of time to do because there's a lot of meticulous things that we want it to be just right. We didn't want to just throw it out there we want it to be something different, something new, something you don't see on the road very much, just because that's just what we like to do. Just custom stuff, not from the factory, not dealership stuff, but stuff that we just enjoy having. So I hope this is a big way to say, do your own thing. Don't, don't care what everybody else thinks. Let them do their own thing. This is a whole lot of fun. This turns heads. Most of all, I enjoy it. My family enjoys it and my little girl enjoys it. I hope my little boy when he gets here is gonna enjoy it. It's a labor of love. It's a whole lot of fun to do and I'm so happy that we got to do it. Next, we're gonna have ceramic coated. We're gonna give you a whole like rundown of that. Also, we've got go fast parts. We've got some in. We're actually gonna do some videos putting those on uh, here soon. So stay tuned, the thousand horsepower build is getting started. And before we go, I just wanna say a bit, very big thank you to everybody who was involved with this project. They're gonna leave them, their links in the down description below, but I just want you to know, DreamWorks being the main facilitator for all the stuff that we did, the installs and everything like that, the, the most of the stuff that was done to this car, and especially the added custom effect, that was all done by DreamWorks, and I do appreciate you guys working tirelessly on this car and getting me right, because it's been like the tire recommendations, the, the install for the wrap, the getting the tire, wheels and tires in so quick with it being with all the sickness going around stuff like that with delays and all that there's so much stuff that went into this project that you just can't really enjoy until you actually go through something like this so this is our first time basically instead of doing piece by piece we did everything all at once and they were awesome to work with always kept in touch with me and i highly recommend them for anything custom that you need for your car or truck next up glarb design of course he killed it with this the design is great he got best rap artist of SEMA 2021 for a reason. He does a bunch of like awesome uh, rap designs. I'm telling you, go to the Instagram. That, that I won't say anything else. Just go to the Instagram page for Glarb Design. Again, description below. Check out his artwork. It's amazing. It's awesome. I mean, just just do it. You'll, you'll be enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. Uh, for the light work, as far as the front end of the car, the headlights, the grill lights, and all that. Um, big thank you to LED Integrations in Burlington, North Carolina. He was great to work with. Everything from start to finish, exactly like we wanted as far as the look and the etching and all that stuff. He actually shipped out the uh, etching for the skull and the headlight to uh, Evil Bee Design. So I got to say a big, great big thank you to him as well for uh, helping us out with that part of it. Did a great job. I love my lights. They're very bright. They're going to last a long time because, I mean, it's lighting trends. What do you expect, right? But if you need anything light design wise, uh, as far as your headlights or anything like that, please go to him, check him out, LED Integrations. He's great, he's wonderful to work with. Just tell him the sensor Camaro sent you. All right, enough talking for me. That's it, that's gonna be it for now. We're gonna get on to the go fast parts and some extra ad, um, some extra things that we're gonna throw in there for you guys. Hope to see you guys at some events in 2022. That's only a couple days away since filming this video. But I hope you guys have a great new year and had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. And uh, I can't wait to see some of you guys in person coming here soon at these car shows and track events. So thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And if there's anything you'd like to see, let me know. Uh, if you could, leave me a like on this video if you made it this far. It lets me know that you made it this far and that you enjoyed it. So I do appreciate uh, you sticking around. And without further ado, don't forget and always remember, stay sinister. Perfect.